Hey guys and welcome to another Minecraft Stadium's results video, only hurling this weekend, so let's jump right into it. So up first we have Longford versus Lancashire. Scoring opens Longford 1 point, Lancashire 2 points. Longford finished the half in the lead, 11 points to 5. Longford opened the second half scoring with 3 points, 10 minutes in. And the game finishes, Longford 18 points. Lancashire 10 points. So Longford with the win over Lancashire, final score, Longford 18 points, Lancashire 10 points. Up next we have Tyrone versus Mead. Scoring opens Tyrone 1 point, Mead 1 point. Mead finished the half in the lead, 5 points to 15. Second half scoring opens Tyrone 6 points, Mead 115. And the game finishes Tyrone 8 points, Mead 217. So a good big win for Mead over Tyrone. Final score Tyrone 8 points, Mead 217. Up next we have London versus Sligo. Scoring opens London 1-2, Sligo 5 points. London finished the half in the lead 3-9 to 1-10. Second half scoring opens London 4-10, Sligo 112. And the game finishes London 5-16. Sligo 2-20. So good win for London over Sligo. Final score, London 5-16. Sligo 220. Up next we have Kildare versus Kerry. Kildare opened the scoring with two points in the first three minutes. Kildare finished the half in the lead 14 points to six. Kerry opened the second half scoring with two points two minutes in. And the game finishes Kildare 220. Kerry 21 points. So a win for Kildare over Kerry. The final score Kildare 220. Kerry 21 points. Up next we have Offaly versus Carlo. Offaly opened the scoring with a point in the first minute. Offaly finished the half in the lead, 11 points to 6. Carlo opened the second half scoring with a point one minute in. And the game finishes Offaly 119.
Carlo 112. So a win for Offaly over Carlo. Final score, Offaly 119, Carlo 112. And our final game on Saturday is Tipperary versus Waterford. Waterford opened the scoring with three points in the first four minutes. Tipperary finished the half in the lead 112 to 11 points. Waterford opened the second half scoring with two points two minutes in. And the game finishes Tipperary 423. Waterford 25 points. So a big win for Tipperary over Waterford. Final score Tipperary 423. Waterford 25 points. Our first game on Sunday is Cavan versus Leitrim. This game was postponed from Saturday due to bad weather. So it was played on Sunday instead. Um, Cavan opened the scoring with two points in the first three minutes. Cavan finished the half in the lead, 15 points to 1 5. Cavan opened the second half scoring with two points, five minutes in. And the game finishes Cavan, 21 points. Leitrim, 2-11. So a win for Cavan over Leitrim. Final score, Cavan, 21 points. Leitrim, 2-11. And this is how the Division 3A table looks after the weekend. Cavan in first with 6 points. Longford in second with 4 points. Leitrim in third with 4 points. Lancashire in fourth with 2 points. And Warwickshire in fifth with 0 points. Up next we have Loud versus Fermanagh. Fermanagh opened the scoring with a point in the first minute. Loud finished the half from the lead. 8 points to 5. <clears throat> Loud opens second half scoring with 2 points, 2 minutes in. And the game finishes Loud 19 points. For mana 115. So a narrow win for Loud over Fermanagh. Final score, Loud 19 points, Fermanagh 115. Up next we have Mayo versus Monaghan. Mayo opened the scoring with two goals and two points in the first six minutes. Mayo finished a half in the lead, 414 to seven points. Monaghan opened the second half scoring with two points, two minutes in. And the game finishes Mayo 525. Monaghan 13 points. So an absolutely massive win for Mayo over Monaghan. Final score, Mayo 5.25, Monaghan 13 points. <clears throat> Up next we have Roscommon versus Armagh. Roscommon opened the scoring with two points in the first minute. Roscommon finished the half in the lead, 14 points to three. Roscommon opened the second half scoring with a goal one minute in. And the game finishes Roscommon 2.20. 
Armagh, five points. So, pretty big win for Roscommon over Armagh. Final score, Roscommon, 220. Armagh, five points. And this is how the Division 3A group looks after the weekend. Monaghan in first with six points. Roscommon in second with four points. Loud in third with four points. Armagh in fourth with four points. And Fermanagh in fifth with three points. And Mayo in sixth with three points. Up next we have Donegal versus Wicklow. Scoring opens Donegal one point, Wicklow five points. Wicklow finish the half in the lead, five points to fourteen. Wicklow opened the second half scoring with four points, five minutes in. And the game finishes Donegal 11 points. Wicklow 2.24. So a big win for Wicklow over Donegal. Final score Donegal 11 points, Wicklow 2.24. And this is how the Division 2 B table looks after the weekend. Mead in first with 8 points, Wicklow in second with 6 points, Tyrone in third with 4 points. Donegal in 4th with 4 points, London in 5th with 2 points, and Sligo in 6th with 0 points. Up next we have Down versus Derry. Down opened the scoring with a point 1 minute in. Down finished the half in the lead 14 points to 1-6. Down open the second half scoring with a point one minute in. And the game finishes down 23 points. Derry 120. So down throw away their lead to only manage a draw against Derry. Final score down 23 points, Derry 120. This is how the Division 2A table looks after the weekend. Kildare in first with 8 points. Offaly in second with 8 points. Kerry in third with 4 points. Carlo in fourth with 2 points. Down in fifth with 1 point. <clears throat> and Derry in sixth with 1 point. Up next we have Kilkenny versus Dublin. Kilkenny opened the scoring with 3 points in the first 4 minutes. Kilkenny finished the half in the lead, 17 points to 8. Dublin opened the second half scoring with a point, 3 minutes in. Game finishes, Kilkenny 2.25. Dublin 1.17. So a good win for Kilkenny over Dublin. Final score, Kilkenny 225, Dublin 117. Up next we have Antrim versus Leash. Leash opened the scoring with three points in the first three minutes. Leash finished the half in the lead, 2-9 to 114. Antrim opened the second half scoring with three points, five minutes in. And the game finishes, Antrim 3-18. Leash 1-18. So a comeback win for Antrim over Leash. Final score, Antrim 3-18, Leash 1-18. And this is how the Division 1 group B table looks after the weekend. Tipperary in first with eight points. Kilkenny in second with six points. Waterford in third with five points. Dublin in fourth with three points. 
Antrim in 5th with 2 points and Leash in 6th with 0 points. Up next we have Westmead versus Limerick. Limerick opened the scoring with 4 points in the first 9 minutes. Limerick finished the half in the lead, 5 points to 114. Westmead opened the second half scoring with a point, 1 minute in. And the game finishes, Westmead 115. Limerick 127. So Limerick with a good win over Westmead. Final score, Westmead 115, Limerick 127. Up next we have Clare versus Galway. Clare opened the scoring with three points in the first three minutes. Clare finished the half in the lead, 12 points to 11. Galway opened the second half scoring with two points, four minutes in. Excuse me, I'll put that wrong. It's supposed to be Galway with two points. And the game finishes, Clare 22 points. Galway 124. So a good win for Galway over Clare. The final score, Clare 22 points, Galway 124. And our final game of the weekend is Cork versus Wexford. Wexford opened the scoring with a point in the first minute. Wexford finished the half in the lead, 6 points to 10. Wexford opened the second half scoring with a point, two minutes in. And the game finishes, Cork 2-14. Wexford 18 points. So Cork from Coming from behind to take the win over Wexford, the final score, Cork 214, Wexford 18 points. So this is how the Division 1 Group A table looks after the weekend. Cork on in first on 8 points, Limerick in second on 6 points, Galway and Clare in third and fourth with 4 points each, Wexford in fifth with 2 points, and Westmead in sixth with 0 points. And there you have it, those are the results of this weekend's games. Uh, the next weekend will have both hurling and football so be sure to check out the predictions and results for that and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and i will see you for the next one <laughs>